Okay, I'm at the thrift store and this line is by far the longest I've ever seen it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but <laughs> we'll see. Let me show you how long this line is. <laughs> It's like a block. We'll see. I've got my book, so I'm estimating this is gonna be like 45 minutes. that the sun is out. It was so nice and gloomy all morning. Hi guys. Okay, it's been a couple of days since I've been thrifting and everything is washed and actually I'm wearing one of the pieces that I thrifted and I've been wearing this for the last couple of days. This is just a white shirt. I think you can kind of see through. Sorry about that. And it's very hard to find a good white shirt when you're out in the wild thrifting. So I scooped this up. I paid five dollars for it. So I win. I'm gonna show you the rest of everything I got. I love this brown and white striped blouse. It has this kind of funny flap down the front, which I didn't notice in the store, but it doesn't bother me too much. It kind of blends into the fabric and adds a little bit of texture. This is a vintage Jones New York blouse, and it's very similar to a black and white one that I had which I accidentally bleached recently, so this is going to serve as a substitute. And I actually really like the light brown stripes. It's got this cute cinched back too. This was a winner. I'm so excited that this sweater worked out. It's nothing to write home about. It's 100% acrylic, so not super soft, but it is vintage and just fits so well. And as you can see, I like tucking my sweaters into my jeans. I belong in the 90s. I thrifted this sweater a couple weeks ago and it ended up just fitting so well. I intended to embroider something on it, but it's vintage and it's this perfect muted lemon yellow color. So I'm a little bit afraid of ruining it. So for now, I'm just leaving it as is. Okay, and I think this might be one of my all time favorite thrift finds ever. It's a vintage Victoria Jones sweater. It still had the original tag in it and the shoulder pads, which I promptly took out because <laughs> mama doesn't need any help. Um, and I think it, because of that, is probably from like the 80s, maybe early 90s. Um, it's so, so soft. It's a blend of, there's a little Angora rabbit for which I <laughs> did not know until I got home and I actually read the label. Um, but I mean, when you're thrifting, that kind of thing is like, it's going into the register as women's sweater. So I don't feel like it's a vote to the fur industry. It's already, it was made, what, like 30 years ago. It has little pearl and these puffy, I mean, it's just, too much. I love this sweater so much. I wish it was not so hot in LA, but every time we have to take Scout out for a walk um, or like early in the morning, I grab
grab this because I just want to wear it always. That's it. That was all of my thrifting finds from the last like week or two. Oh wait, I got a hat too. Where's my hat? I almost forgot. I got this super cute hat and it's got a little leather um, strappy thing, which I'm totally going to use because we're going camping and on a couple of hikes. Isn't it so cute? I think it's kind of tray chic to wear little nerdy things like this now, isn't it? It's like you don't care. Like, oh, I'm just out in my garden. <laughs> I gotta use the strap. Like, it's kind of fashionable now. I paid two dollars for it. So, okay, that's the actual end of the video. <laughs> I still have that cabinet that I flipped and I will share that in the next video. You're going to die. It's so cute. It's, I think it's, it was a good, good thrift flip. I hope that this scratched kind of like a thrifting itch for you. I'm not convinced how safe it is to actually be thrifting right now, so I think I'm probably not gonna go again for a little while, but I promise that when I do, I will bring you along and we can all live together. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.